is not good. This is bad. Hello. It's Monday. It's early. Let's go take a photo. So if you've been watching me for a while at all, you might recognize this rock formation cave thing behind me here. I was here about six months ago. Um, I took some photos at the top of this ridge. If you don't remember, it was the video where this happened. Whoa. Towards the end of that one, I found this cave, or I knew the cave was there, but I sort of noticed it on the way out and took a couple of photos there. I was looking back at those recently and I wasn't super happy with how they turned out. So I thought this morning it'd be cool to redo that photo, which I'll throw up here, and try to make it a bit, a bit better. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't dislike it or anything. Just missing something, you know? So hopefully we're gonna get some good light and we can take a good photo. So I think the biggest issue with when I was shooting in this little cave last time was that I was kind of in a bad mood by that point in the morning. This had just happened. Whoa. I was covered in mud and sand. And I kind of was just over it. But sometimes when I'm out, I get this sense of like obligation to want to keep shooting. Even if I've sort of had enough and I'm sort of over it. I think that was just one of those times where I didn't really want to be shooting. I was just doing it because I was here, which isn't a great mindset to be in. Because usually when you're forcing something creatively, at least for me, it's usually not going to turn out to be the best it could be. And we're wet. God damn. Okay, I think I'm gonna put you guys somewhere safer. So this, you're up on a rock now, so hopefully that's safer. Did I press record? Ugh. Should we talk about photos now? Probably. I think what the last one lacks, for me at least, was real sort of foreground interest. So for this one today, I found this long shaped rock here, which I'm using to point me directly towards the opening in the cave. That way, the rock itself is pretty cool to look at, but it's also leading you up towards where the cave's opening, and then we're getting a little bit of light behind it. And because I've got a lot going on in the scene from very up close to the lens to further back, I'm focusing to infinity on my lens, and I'm shooting it at f11. We'll go to f11. That way, hopefully, everything will be nice and in focus, all the way from the foreground to the back. I'm gonna pop on a filter just to get some motion happening in the waves. I'm in a lucky spot where I've got kind of two directions of water coming in. One from this streaming lead up through the cave and also around the other side of this rocks. So I'm getting a lot of water movement happening. So I'm just gonna put a filter on and see if I can capture that a bit more. It sounded like I was gonna say something after more then, didn't it? I think I was. I just didn't have a word to use. Come on, waves. A little bit. I'm kind of annoyed because I put myself, for the sake of this idea, in the worst spot to get the sunrise light. I'm using my phone for B-roll today because I forgot to put an SD card in my GoPro. Because I'm a professional. It's always like an internal battle waiting for a wave to come through or something to happen versus the light going away. I think today I'm kind of committed for at least one more wave to hopefully come through and hit this rock. Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna give it two more minutes. No more waves in two minutes, then I'll move. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Oop, maybe, maybe, not really. We have to move on. Should I move closer? Is that a cop out? Let's move closer. So there's awesome golden light streaming in here, hitting the sides of the rocks. And these rocks here, which you might be able to see. So I'm gonna bring my aperture to F13. That way I'll get a little bit of starburst happening around the edge of the rock. And I'm just at half a second shutter. That way I'm getting that energy in the water. If you're the kind of person who carves your name into rocks, like places like this, you're officially banned from this channel. Who does that? And how? Do they bring like rock carving equipment to do that? 
I guess they just use other rocks, hey? That would make more sense. Oop. HL. If you're watching this HL, you're a bad person and I hate you. I'm getting a bit wet here. Oh my god. This is not good. So I'm using pretty fast shutter speeds now. This one is a fifth of a second. These waves are coming in with a fair bit of force and smashing up against this rock here. Let's um, take a look. Well, as you can probably see behind me, I'm not sure if you can see behind me, because there's a cliff behind me. The um, light is pretty much gone. I'm completely soaked. And I think that's going to about wrap up today's video. Hopefully I was able to redeem myself like I set out to, and take a better photo here than I did last time. And hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe if you're new here and hit the like. I don't say these sort of things a whole lot because it feels a bit disingenuous, but it does help a lot, and I'm really enjoying doing these videos. So if you like this video, hope you got something out of it. Um, yeah, doing those things does go a long way. Hopefully we'll be out again soon for another photo or two, but until then, take it easy guys and I'll see you in the next one.